What's up everybody? My name is Liz and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash the subscribe button because I am giving away a three days, two night stay for two Las Vegas trip getaway. All you have to do is subscribe to all your friends and family about my channel, Liz Tramble on YouTube. Get them to subscribe. And once they've subscribed, make sure that they comment on any of my videos and say such and such referred me to this channel. And the more I see your name being mentioned in the comment section, the better chances of you becoming the winner of the three days, two nights stay for two Las Vegas trip getaway. And I will be announcing the winner at the end of January 2019. Today I have a very special guest in the channel. This guy, he is a rock star when it comes to business. Everything he touches turn into gold. He is wise way beyond his years. He is a great example of financial freedom because he takes after our father. And that is my one and only brother, Siabonga Tele. And he goes by Sia. Sia, welcome to the channel. Thank you. A couple of questions for you. Give us a bit of background about yourself. What did you go to school for? What type of work you did that prepared you to where you are in terms of business? Well, a bit of a background on myself. Um, I studied uh, metallurgical engineering. Mm -hmm. I've been into a different institute, uh, collecting different uh, qualifications. Mm -hmm. I've been to Valtrang mm -hmm. um, Technicon, which is currently called um, a Val University of Technology. Mm -hmm. I've uh, been to TUT, mm -hmm. Twan University of Technology, and okay. I've got my highest qualification, which is the Honors in Metallurgical Degree mm -hmm. um, from the Pretoria University. Mm -hmm. I then um, qualified as a metallurgical engineer. Mm -hmm. I worked for a steel company, um, starting from technical technician background I proceeded and uh, worked out climbed the corporate ladder I ended up as a agricultural specialist wonderful that's great now tell us a bit about uh, SRS your company SRS uh, means or stands for support user refresher services mm -hmm. we uh, Got the company registered and started functioning in 2008. Okay. That was after 10 years of experience in the similar industry. Mm -hmm. um, the idea uh, was born uh, during the operational stage mm -hmm. um, when I worked as a refractory specialist, okay. a technician, a quality controller, and I had to be involved uh, with contractors. Uh, that particularly did their job. So at that stage, I literally managed them. And as I sat and looked at how they operated, and I thought, uh, this is wonderful, and I can uh, emulate this and uh, do it myself, actually for myself. Mm -hmm. And I decided to eventually uh, stop working uh, and then get the company registered mm -hmm. and start uh, operating as a contractor. Mm -hmm. uh, I did. The, I, I do exactly what I did before I worked as a contractor. Mm -hmm. uh, as a contractor. Mm -hmm. However, it's just that now I'm sitting on the other side of the table. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now, tell us about the time when you transitioned from being the employee to becoming the employer. Was it easy? What are some of the challenges that you came across? Well, it was never easy. Mm -hmm. uh, more especially when, it, when we started, uh, it was a very challenging uh, time, mm -hmm. 2008, when the uh, South African uh, economy was facing a great recession. Mm -hmm. um, we had to find our way, maneuver through those difficult um, conditions and circumstances mm -hmm. and be able to survive uh, in the market. We had to establish or find a way to find the clients, um, have means of utilizing our services mm -hmm. without feeling the pinch, mm -hmm. or without feeling uh, that you will have to pay more mm -hmm. for the services that we were rendering. What are some of the challenges 
that you faced from you know the beginning of launching your company till now and how did how, how did you how were you able to overcome some of those challenges um well uh, the, the overcoming part it's purely with perseverance mm -hmm. um, you need to persevere and uh, it's very important to know that when you are self-employed or entrepreneur mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't mean that money is just going to come by itself That's uh, true. it involves a lot of hard work yes a lot of sacrifice, mm -hmm. a lot of time that get involved uh, into making things happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest challenge that uh, I faced, that it is still the challenge to all other uh, entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. having uh, equipment, mm -hmm. having uh, beautiful buildings, beautiful offices, yeah. um, all manner of uh, infrastructure or resources that you need to operate does not mean that you're gonna get the job. That's true. And all those that, not, that uh, 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 do not get the job done, mm -hmm. you need personnel mm -hmm. to help the machinery uh, functioning mm -hmm. in order to uh, obtain the, de uh, the desired uh, goal. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my biggest challenge was particularly with the personnel. Mm -hmm. I never had the personnel management skills. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it didn't come easy. So all the fancy, uh, flashy equipment and uh, opportunities that were presented to me because of the great experience that I had did not guarantee me a good or a quality job. Mm -hmm. So I still needed personnel uh, to, in, in order to achieve the quality of work that was desired by the client. So that's one of the greatest challenges that are, that are faced. And it is very important to know that when you sit on the other side of the table, you don't get to see what goes in the background. Yeah. All the work and the effort that get put in order to get things organized. Mm -hmm. If you're a owner of the project and you hire a contractor to do a job for you, all that you see is Royce Royce. All everything is smooth running. Right. Not knowing how much effort that goes behind curtains yeah. to present the final product. Mm -hmm. That's the challenge that I uh, personally experience. Okay, that was good. I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, the fact that you have resources doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to automatically succeed when you are starting out as a, uh, an entrepreneur. Now, what advice would you give to someone who's still trying to get their foot in the door, uh, whether it's in your industry, the metallurgy, industry or anything related to what you're doing what great advice would you give to someone who is new basically um and if we want to make it in any type of a business is to know the business that you're in mm -hmm. uh, you need to have the detailed knowledge of what business you're in you need to know uh, your clients expectations mm -hmm. uh, the quality of the work that you are delivering and the service that you are rendering mm -hmm. must be up to the point whereby uh, nobody can measure it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it purely lies upon you as an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. It's not going to come by the virtue of having good resources or mm -hmm. a lot of money right. uh, that you are capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. It's purely going to come uh, uh, from you as an individual. The art of business work that you put into it, mm -hmm. the kind of uh, sacrifice that you are putting mm -hmm. in order to uh, for your business to survive. Uh, what, what are you working on right now? What What, what is the uh, next big thing that you are working on? Well, the next uh, let me say the short term goal is to get our foot into the glass stove. Okay. And, and what the, is the, that? The, 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 that's one big project. Mm -hmm. uh, that is coming up uh, that is going to help us incorporate uh, Japanese oh, wow. uh, in the manufacturing and the design of the specific um, uh, uh, refractory units that we want to be involved in. Okay, that's wonderful. They're going global. I like that. All right, awesome. 100%. That, 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 that's basically the, the short term goal. Mm -hmm. The long term goal for SRS Compro is to uh, have ourselves manufacture okay. uh, the uh, refractory material 
-hmm. uh, currently, we purchase it from the manufacturers okay. and we install it. Okay. And we monitor it during the uh, operation okay. and we demolish when it's done and then we refer back in. But we want to come okay. to a point where we are all rounder. Nice. Um, where we manufacture, mm -hmm. we supply, mm -hmm. and we monitor our own product mm -hmm. uh, that is manufactured mm -hmm. at the client. That is brilliant. I love it. Wasn't that great? That was awesome. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. I know you're a very busy man. So thank you for fitting me in in your busy schedule. And uh, yeah, all the best with everything that you have going on. Is there anything else that you would well, like to add? Well, in, in, in appreciation and uh, uh, for the invitation uh, mm -hmm. to the show. Mm -hmm. uh, presentation. We would love to uh, present you <laughs> with an, an SRS shirt um, as a token of appreciation for having us on your show. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, and until next time, until next Thursday, Bye for now.